And one of the things that I've been emphasizing in this course is the need for not only for forward-looking metrics, but ones that can be reported, ones that can be shared with investors and other constituents. And again, I know that's a real area of your expertise. is isn't just how to define this thing, but actually uh, to, to motivate the, 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 the reporting and the, the managerial use of it. So tell us a little bit more about, the, uh, about what it's like to get companies to, to actually use this as a, as a forward-looking metric right up there with the other metrics that they regularly examine. Yeah, first of all, what I recommend is that you start to measure the right metrics, which in case of uh, customer equity reporting means I would recommend you measure the number of customers that you have. You measure all the profit per customer, which is kind of easy, essentially total profit divided by the number of customers. But then there's another metric which I feel is very important, which is the retention rate. Retention rate is essentially if you have, a cu if you have 100 customers in the last period, how many of those 100 customers stay in the current period. So if you had 100, this year you have 80, that means you have an 80% retention rate, meaning 20% of them churned. And essentially it means that you have an 80% probability that a customer is going to stay. So I mean, you have to predict into the future, which of course is difficult, but I feel it's a fair point to say, okay, if I had an 80% probability that my customers are going to stay loyal, for this period from last period on, then it's kind of fair to say, okay, very likely that will be the probability that the customer is going to stay in the next period as well. And so essentially the customer retention rate, that's our way to measure forward-looking behavior. So that would be the probability that the customer will, with you, will be with you in the next period. Once you have that, then you know how much money you make with the customer in the current period. You know the probabilities that they are going to remain with you. You might have an estimate for the profit you realize in the next period. For example, that could simply be a current profitability. And then you put everything together, you take a discount rate and you calculate what's called a net present value, a very famous concept from finance. And usually we call the result I in marketing, we call it customer lifetime value. A and then you have the customer lifetime value of each customer. You multiply it, for example, with the number of customers, or you sum it up across all customers, and there will be customer equity, which means that's the value of a current customer base.